Hey there, type 1 diabetics. We have some shocking news today from Novo Nordisk, one of the leading companies working on a therapy that we hoped would come to fruition and perhaps be one of the first therapies to stop or cure type 1 diabetes. They have abruptly announced that they are no longer going to be pursuing this. We have the whole story for you, but just be forewarned, it's not all as bad as it might seem. Let's get into it. What's next for diabetes research after Novo Nordisk halts cell therapy? A potential cure for diabetes has just been abandoned, leaving many questions in its wake. Novo Nordisk, one of the world's largest insulin producers, has shocked the diabetes community by halting its promising cell therapy research. In this video, we're going to expose the real reasons behind this controversial decision, and more importantly, investigate the next wave of treatments from gene editing to smart devices that could now be our best hope for a cure. The timing couldn't be more frustrating, could it? Just when we were seeing real, tangible progress in clinical trials, Novo Nordisk's announcement feels like someone hit the pause button on hope. But here's what most people don't understand. This isn't the end of the story. In fact, it might just be the unexpected plot twist that speeds up the real breakthrough. The technical challenges are equally daunting, to be fair. Creating insulin-producing cells is just step one, a monumental achievement in itself. But the real persistent problem is keeping those delicate cells alive once they're transplanted inside the body. Your immune system, designed to protect you, sees these new cells as invaders, foreign entities that need to be neutralized. It's like trying to plant a beautiful garden in hostile territory you need to convince the body's defense system somehow not to destroy the very thing trying to heal it. Previous attempts required patients to take powerful immunosuppressive drugs for life, essentially trading diabetes for a different and often equally serious set of health risks. That's hardly a cure. But here's where the story truly gets interesting. While Novo Nordisk is stepping back, almost like taking a breather, other players are stepping up, and I mean big time. Eli Lilly, their main competitor, has been quietly yet aggressively building a diabetes therapy empire. They've invested billions in manufacturing capabilities and strategically acquired companies like Sigalon Therapeutics, betting that they can solve the immune rejection problem where others have faltered. Their innovative approach involves encapsulating cells in protective shields, almost like putting them in tiny biological armor. This ingenious design lets insulin out to do its job, but keeps the aggressive immune cells from attacking. It's a clever workaround for a really tough biological puzzle. The real revolution, the one that could truly change everything, might come from an unexpected place, your own genes. CRISPR gene editing technology, once the stuff of science fiction novels, has progressed from theoretical possibility to clinical reality faster than almost anyone predicted. Instead of transplanting foreign cells, which always carry the risk of rejection, why not fix the ones you already have? Recent trials have shown incredible promise. Gene-edited pancreatic cells that can survive immune attack and produce insulin for months on end. We're not talking about a permanent lifelong cure yet, but imagine three months, six months, or even a year without injections. For millions of patients, that would be absolutely life-changing. Stem cell research is equally promising, offering a renewable source of insulin-producing cells. Scientists have figured out how to turn regular skin cells, easily accessible from any patient, into functional, insulin-producing beta cells. This creates an unlimited, patient-specific supply, eliminating the need for donor organs and the associated immune challenges. What's more, these lab-grown cells can be genetically modified to be virtually invisible to the immune system like giving them a biological cloaking device. The FORWARD study, a landmark trial, showed that patients receiving stem cell-derived islet therapy needed significantly less insulin, with some participants maintaining near-normal blood sugar levels with minimal or even no daily supplementation. That's a huge step. But perhaps the most pragmatic and powerful approach is coming from researchers who look at all these incredible advancements and say, why choose just one solution when we can combine them? The next generation of diabetes treatments might not be a single silver bullet, but rather a sophisticated triple threat. 
gene editing to fix underlying genetic defects, stem cells to replace damaged tissue with healthy functional cells, and smart drug delivery systems to fine-tune the entire process, ensuring optimal performance. So, what does all this mean for patients waiting so patiently for better treatments? The timeline for meaningful breakthroughs might actually be accelerating. While Novo Nordisk's specific approach would have taken many more years to reach market, several competing technologies are closer to completion, benefiting from years of foundational research. Gene-edited cell therapies could realistically enter late-stage trials as early as next year. Advanced artificial pancreas systems are already available and improving rapidly, becoming more sophisticated and accessible by the month. The combination approach, a partial biological cure augmented by smart management, might provide truly meaningful benefits within three to five years, rather than the decade or more we once anticipated for a full cure. The future of diabetes treatment is being written right now, in real time, and it's being written by multiple authors simultaneously each with their own unique vision. While Novo Nordisk's exit undeniably closes one chapter, it opens up vital space for more innovative, diverse approaches to flourish. The powerful combination of gene editing, advanced stem cell therapy, sophisticated immune engineering, and incredibly smart devices creates possibilities that didn't even exist five short years ago. The end of one approach isn't the end of hope. It's just the beginning of a new, potentially much better chapter in the quest to cure diabetes. The race isn't over. It's actually heating up in the most exciting ways imaginable. If you found this analysis helpful, please consider subscribing to more updates on diabetes research breakthroughs. What emerging treatment are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below and I'll dive deeper into the most promising approaches in future videos. So when I first read this headline, I was a little bit taken aback. I was somewhat dismayed. But the more I thought about it and the more research I did on this, I see this because I have a business background. I see this as a good move for them, but I also see it as a very good move for many other companies. This is one uh, less obstacle in their way as they develop their own gene editing, CRISPR therapeutics, Sonova cell pouch, Vertex VX880, all of these other companies may very well use or license some of the technologies uh, from Novo Nordisk. Um, and as I've said really to you guys since I started this channel, I believe that the cure will be a, from a conglomeration of more than one of these technologies and many of these technologies are further along than where Novo Nordisk was. And quite frankly, they probably didn't want to spend another billion dollars. Um, they made a calculated decision and uh, I can't argue with it. I'm not worried about it though. And I don't want you to worry about it because there are so many other companies that are on the cusp of getting to where they need to get to either pair up with a different entity or take their entity, their, their uh, uh, technological expertise to get to the conclusion, the conclusion being a cure for type 1 diabetes. So don't be depressed about this. These things happen, but I say there are many, many other good things happening. And I hope you feel the same way. I'll be very interested, as always, to see your comments on this subject. We'll have another video for you here real soon on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. See you around.